What's up everyone? Today we're going to be doing an Arch Anywhere tutorial of an encrypted install. Um, so step one, you're going to want to head over to the domain arch-anywhere.org. Um, you're going to come to the download page. You can find the latest release right here. You can grab the torrent or the direct download. Alright, we're going to be doing the install in VirtualBox. So we're going to come over here, make a new system. Do it arch anywhere encrypted. Next, we'll just give it uh, the default one gig of RAM. Uh, we're going to create a virtual hard drive. We're just going to do all this default for now. the settings here. We're going to go to storage and we're going to select our ISO here. So we're going to do, I've already got it right here, which is the latest. So we're going to select it and hit OK. Come back out here, boot it up. Alright, so here's the boot screen. Um, we're just going to go ahead and boot right in. So once you get booted up, you're going to be at a screen that looks like this. Um, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to update to the latest scripts. Um, this is an optional step, um, but it will update to the latest scripts from GitHub. So to do that, we just type arch-anywhere and then dash u for update. It's going to go ahead and grab all the latest scripts from GitHub, so we're all up to date. go ahead and begin the installer we just type arch dash anywhere and press enter okay it's going to ask you for your install language first there's quite a few different languages to choose from we're going to go with english welcome to the installer would you like to be in the install process yes okay first it's going to ask you to select your country code to update the mirror list so we're going to go with united states it's going to fetch the new mirror list. It's going to rank it. All right, next it's going to ask to select our key map. Um, we're going to go with default, which is US. I'm just going to ask to select your desired locale. Um, you can scroll through here and find your locale. If you don't find it in this list, you'll find it here in other, which is the full list of locales. Um, we're going to go with US. Okay, next it's going to ask to select your time zones. We're going to go with US. It's going to like ask to select your sub time zone. We're going to go with Eastern. All right, so now it's going to ask you to select your partition method. There's auto partition, auto partition encrypted, and manual partition. Um, for this video, we're going to do an encrypted install, so we're going to select auto partition encrypted and hit OK. It's going to give you a list with all your drives. This is my virtual drive here, which is my 8 gig drive. Um, so I'm going to select that. It's going to ask to select your file system. We're going to go with the default ext4. Would you like to create a swap space? So this is a area for if you run out of RAM for your operating system to write to the drive to use as virtual memory. Um, so we're going to go yes, we're just going to leave it default, 512 megabytes. Would you like to use GPT partitioning? Unnecessary. We're going to click no. And it's going to ask to write changes, so make sure everything looks good and go ahead and write changes. Okay, now it's going to say warning, it will encrypt the hard drive. Would you like to continue? So we're going to hit yes. Okay, here it's going to ask for a password for your encrypted drive, so you'll have to enter this password at boot to decrypt the drive. 
So enter your password here. Okay, it's going to partition. It's going to create the logical volumes and encrypt the drive. Create the file system and mount. All right, so here it's going to ask what type of install you would like. So we have Arch Linux Base, Arch Linux Base Development. Um, we have the Arch Linux GRSEC kernel, which is a security hardened kernel. And then we have LTS Base and LTS Base Development. So we're going to go with the standard default, which is Arch Linux Base Development. And we're going to hit OK. All right, next it's going to ask you for your command shell. Um, there's a list of shells to choose from here. The default is bash, but I prefer zsh, um, so I'm going to select zsh here. Next, it's going to ask your bootloader. Um, so I'm going to go ahead with the default and select grub. All right, now it's going to ask for your network utility. Um, net control will provide you with the Wi-Fi menu command for connecting to wireless. Um, Network Manager gives you a graphical interface for connecting to Wi-Fi. Um, so we're going to go with Network Manager. <coughs> Install wireless utilities, so if you're using Wi-Fi, you'll, you'll select yes here. We're not, so we're going to go with no. PPOE DSL connection, so if you're using a PPOE connection, you'll select yes here. We're going to go with no. Install OS Prober, so if you're dual booting, you're going to want to select yes here, so the grub configuration will detect your other system. We're going to go with no. Would you like to install a desktop or window manager? Yes. Alright, so there's quite a few to choose from. There's a custom Arch Anywhere XSCE4. Um, we've got quite a few options here. Pretty much every desktop or window manager available in the official Arch repos is listed here. We're going to go with the Arch Anywhere XFCE custom desktop. Alright, so it detected we're using VirtualBox, so it'll provide the VirtualBox guest utils. XF86 input touchpad, that's for if you're using a laptop, you're going to want to select yes here to be sure the touchpad works. So we're going to go with no. Would you like to install a graphical login manager? We'll go yes. LightDM is the default login manager, so I'm going to select LightDM. Alright, so now it's going to give me my download size, estimated install time, and my estimated speed, and it's going to give me all the packages it's going to add. So if everything looks good, go ahead and hit install. Alright, so now it's going to go ahead and begin the install, so we'll be right back after this. Alright, it's going to install Grub, make the Grub configuration, configure the kernel for encryption. So it's asking us if we want to enable the multi-lib repos. So that will allow us to install 32-bit software in a 64-bit system. So we're going to go with yes. Enable DHCP at boot. So that will automatically assign you an IP address from your router. So we're going to go yes. Okay, so you're going to set your computer host name. Um, you can set it to whatever you want. I'm just going to leave it default, Arch, anywhere. Okay, enter the root login password. Create a new user. Enter a new password for the user. Okay, enable sudo, um, so that will give you administrative privileges on your user. Yes. Alright, we do like 
like to install some common software. So here you can have a list of common software to choose from. Um, we're just going to add a couple things here. I'm going to go into system. Um, we'll get HTOP, um, screen fetch, UFW, WGET. So add those packages to the install list, and then it'll come back, and you can select from another list here. Um, there's internet, you can install a browser, um, stuff like that. Um, there's audio software. Um, there's a few games on here. Um, multimedia software video players, stuff like that. Um, there's Office software, so you can get the LibreOffice suite. Um, there's a few different terminals that you can choose from. Uh, there's some text editors. Um, but we're just going to get those couple things for now, so go down to Install. It'll show you all the packages you selected, the download size and estimated time. So we're going to go ahead and install. Alright, so once that's done, install completed successfully. So there's a couple different options here. You can add more software. You can add another user. You can return to the command prompt. You can arch ch root into your system. Power off or reboot. So we're just going to go ahead and reboot. As you can see, we're back in the ISO here since I never removed it from the drive. So we can just go down to boot existing OS and press enter. Alright, so here we are at the grub screen for our new installs of Arch Linux. Alright, so here it's going to ask you to enter the password to decrypt your drive. So enter the password that you chose during the install and hit enter. And it's going to go ahead and boot up. Alright, so here we are at the login screen. Go ahead and make this full screen here. Okay, so we're going to log into our user here. And here we are at the Arch Anywhere desktop. Can open up a terminal. <coughs> see we're only using 235 megabytes, so pretty lightweight. And that's about it. That's how you install Arch Anywhere encrypted um, using the Arch Anywhere installer. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.